In this lesson, we'll learn how to rationalize the denominator. Rationalizing the denominator is simply removing any square roots from the bottom part of your fraction. In this case, the square root on the bottom of our fraction is the square root of 3. What we want to do is multiply both the top and the bottom of our fraction by the square root of 3. Notice that this is the same as multiplying by 1, so it doesn't change our fraction, it just will make it look different. When we multiply fractions, we can just multiply straight across. So on top, we'll get 3 times the square root of 3, which we can't really simplify. On the bottom, we'll have the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which just gives us 3. Now, as you can see, the 3's will cancel, and we're left with the square root of 3, which is our rationalized expression. Let's do another example. In this case, we have 6 over the square root of 2. Let's do the same thing we did before. We'll multiply top and bottom by the square root of 2. On the top, that leaves us with 6 times the square root of 2. And on the bottom, that leaves us with 2. Now, 6 over 2 is 3, and so we're left with 3 times the square root of 2. Let's do one more example. Here we have the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 6. Now this is a little trickier than the last two that we've done, because we have the square root on top. Well, let's start out the same way. We'll multiply top and bottom by the square root of 6. On the top, when we multiply a square root by another square root, we can just multiply the stuff that's inside together and put it all under a square root. So here, we multiply the 5 by the 6, and we get the square root of 30. And on the bottom, square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is simply 6.